to lend steal my sunshine. Um, you know, it's eerie. You know, one of the things that we say in the writers' room is that we want to write a show of this time. It's very important to us to be about. I mean, a, a reviewer said that you know, like, it's easy for our show to be dated because we're about technology. In a couple of years, all the technology in our show is probably going to be, uh, you know, in, you know, uh, pastiche or whatever. And my 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 opinion is, it's as if it, as if we're making a period show of today, and that's the way I look at it. So. Maybe that has something to do with how eerie to close, you know, close to reality we get. Um, Either that or at the end of the show reveal that you are the one behind all of these acts. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ashley <could> Madison. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Oh, one of the biggest questions I've had about the show is why everyone in F Society remains so loyal to Elliot and his vision and he's so obviously erratic and, and he's radical change in moods and, and he's just so obviously unstable why everyone in the well you got to think about what their intentions are too i mean their motivations are to really cause this you know kind of catastrophic event so they're not the most uh balanced <laughs> folks either um and i i i, I actually think we're going to explore that a little bit about how they're kind of following this leader who's a little off. You know, it's not the first time we've seen groups led by someone who's maniacal, yeah. I, I think Hollywood, I think it's fair to say Hollywood is a great writing book technology, or picking technology specifically hackers. What do you think they've gotten wrong and what do you think they did right for I'll, I'll say two things. I think, one, they, for whatever reason, think that if you show a person typing, it's going to get boring really quick. And so we have to force these cheesy graphics and CGI and the big red button because audiences are too stupid. And um, I, I, and for me, for the life of me, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know why I'm the first one to say I don't think you have to do that. Although I, I shouldn't say I'm the first one because I think the social network actually was very respectful in the way they uh, treated technology and they were pretty accurate. Yeah. But the second thing is, if you're making it about the hacking, then you then you made a grave mistake. I mean, one of the things that we always knew making this show, it was not about the hacking, it was about the characters. I mean, and that goes for anything. When you're making a medical drama, lawyer, I don't know half the stuff that lawyers are saying uh, on any, you know, law or whatever it is, but if it's about the people, you get the emotional piece, and that to me is the most important part. Could you talk a little bit more about the visual stuff then? Because I think this show is so striking visually, and you wouldn't necessarily expect that. <laughs> Happy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about like how we film it, or just specifically how we portray it? No, just in general. Uh, well, you know, I'm I, I'm a very like for me when we film something, when we compose a shot, it, to me it's like incredibly important. I'm just I'm, I, I wanted to be a director before a writer, so that was something that like just was a was a high priority for me. And in television, you know, you always hear it's the writers' medium, and for me, I never looked at it. As, for me, it's the filmmakers' medium. At the end of the day, every component, not just the look of it, but the music and the sound design. So all those components, why not work at like a, you know at the highest levels you can? For the for us, we have this very specific framing and composition that I thought was very specific. You know, very worked well in the show because the world is very off kilter. Elliot is very off kilter, and so our framing sort of represents. It. What was your reaction when you were in the finale episode? I think it was great. <laughs> I mean, Cadillac Escalade is, is a big car, and apparently you can disappear. <laughs> no, but I think it was it was uh, it was great. It was good for, for the show and for. for I mean, a huge risk because like, obviously he's a big character in the first season. Um, but the, we we always like to take risks. Yeah. <laughs> well, can you tell us more about the second season and where you're going to go with that? I mean, I was just telling these guys in the car. Cause I was wondering if you were sitting together to make sure that no, no secrets get out. <laughs> <laughs> No, they were asking me all these questions, and I actually am kind of staying tight-lipped about it, because you, from the nature of the show, you know, obviously I don't want to spoil anything. But I will say, it, it, I mean, having just been in the writer's starting up in the writer's room, it, it, it is incredibly dark. And for a show that's already kind of dark, it's, it's a little crazy right now. So I'm trying to lighten the mood. I'm going to have to throw some jokes in or something. <laughs> uh, yeah.
That's kind of all I want to say. That's okay. <laughs> How is it on a dark show? I mean, for the actors, do you do anything in particular to get in that mindset? Or? I mean, yeah, because you've had to do some yes. yeah. yeah. I mean, up stuff. It was intense from time to time, and I, I remember waking up and was like standing on, on the bottom of I mean, on the sidewalk looking up at the skyscraper and knowing I had to climb up there a particular day when it's like, you got to do some I mean, tough stuff and so sometimes it was intense and but it was also the beauty of it because it was so well written and all these small kind of I remember we, we talked a lot about control with control losing control control losing control so when we started to get into that it yeah. was easier of, of like getting okay this is the pace and so it was intense but it was beautiful what you did the, an excellent job. Oh, thank you. What was the most challenging scene or moment? Mm, I'd say actually the start of episode two, uh, the long monologue round table, because that was uh, the start. I mean, we did the pilot a year ago, and then we started in April. And that was my first day coming in having a four or five minute monologue. That was, that was and I knew that I got to do this good. Because we got nine episodes coming. So that was that was like the toughest scene I said. You talk about the composition, light, and who do you think is the perfect moment for a TV series? That's the, and many people say that um, this is the golden age of TV yeah. series. Do you feel that? Do I feel that? I mean, here's the thing, like these kind of shows or the, this kind of storyline, I don't think can be made. As well. yeah. And I think that's why filmmakers, a lot of writers and directors, are moving towards television, and actors are moving towards television. Um, because you get to kind of hit these sort of more interesting, provocative storylines and themes. Um, so I think for that, yeah, television is just sort of reaping the benefits of the losses of the film, of the film industry. You know? Can you talk a little bit about the decision to bring the show to USA? Because the show is so not yeah. the USA channel. And I think That's it's just sort point. of... Yeah. You know, we were... It was just an, an interesting position because they really wanted to rebrand uh, their network. And they were very passionate about the script. And they didn't really want to change the script. Um, and so I was in a position where I was going to have a lot more creative freedom than I would at another network. So it was kind of just like a perfect marriage. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was like one of those things where we were like teaming up to be like, okay, let's do something <laughs> crazy. And cool. Did that creative freedom sort of stay throughout the season? Or was there anything? I mean, you let, me, let me put like, it this way: I've never been in a tel on a, in a writers room. I've never done a television show. I've never, I had no business being a showrunner uh, on a TV show, and they let me do that. I mean, that's how much they trusted us. And, and yeah, no, they, you know, look, every once in a while they would push back, legal would push back, and that's, you know, that, that's going to happen, but they, for the most part, kind of left us a lot. I got to give them a lot of respect for that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.